morning i'm currently packing up orders for my depop store and i felt like we needed to have like a little moment of silence like a little funeral for this hoodie i just sold i'm feeling like i'm having some regrets like i'm feeling like i shouldn't have let go of this let me show you the back like i freaked out when i found this at the thrift this is one of the coolest finds ever i was watching videos of halloween horror nights in orlando yesterday and I saw the Blumhouse scare zone and I was like, wow, maybe I shouldn't have sold my Blumhouse hoodie literally the day before because this would be the perfect thing to wear to HHN if it like rains and gets cold, which it usually always does whenever I'm there. But if I'm being honest with myself, I'm not even a huge Blumhouse fan. I am a fan, but not like, not the biggest Blumhouse fan. So I'm really happy that my sweatshirt is gonna go to someone who can appreciate it even more than I do. Let's go now, drop this off at the post office. Then I have some errands to run today. Today's my day, I kinda wanna get everything together for Vegas. So I'm gonna start packing and I wanna get some of those travel size bottles to put my products in. Also while I'm in the area, I kinda wanna see if Spirit Halloween is open. It says it hasn't been open on the website, but I'm kinda feeling like they're always open this time of year by now. So we'll go check it out. Packages have just been dropped off. Tell me why Spirit Halloween is still closed and I just drove by. The entire place is still filled with boxes and it says like opening in August. It's August 29th. I don't think you're opening in August. Anyways, let's go into Home Goods now. I am not here for any Halloween decor. I'm definitely gonna look at it, but I don't need anything. I'll try. <laughs> little travel size bottles for my Vegas trip this weekend. Then I got two different kinds of K-cups. I've never tried these pumpkin ones, so I'm excited too. Everything I got from Target is just drinks. This is my favorite iced coffee. Then I got the Starbucks Nespresso pods. I've never tried these before. I usually just buy them from the Nespresso app, but I don't like paying for shipping on the app and having to wait for it in the mail. Like I just wanna be able to go and buy it in person. I just got a bunch of little sodas. We have lemon lime poppy, orange cream poppy, strawberry lemon poppy, watermelon lime olipop, vintage cola olipop, and two of the ginger ale olipops. There's one more thing I want to show you. I just got this package. It was actually kind of cold today while I was out, so I'm really glad I have this. I need to put it on right now. Okay, yeah, I needed that. I was just getting so overstimulated in public today. I don't know how to say this without it coming out wrong because I love my tattoos. I love being a tattooed person. I love being able to express myself. But being a woman, being decently tattooed, and also being an extreme introvert most days, it brings me so much public attention and I know what you're thinking, like, yeah, if you get all the tattoos, you're gonna be asked about them, get over it. Sometimes I just, I wish people would remember that it's my body. Like, I don't think 
my body needs to always be commented on and touched i wouldn't go up to someone in public and be like oh my god look at your arm can i touch it because yes obviously i understand i have artwork on my arm but it's my arm it is my arm i don't always feel like people need to touch me or people need to be staring me down i'm just i'm really excited for cold weather season so i can like get harassed in public a little bit less i think the world is changing every single day in some ways really good in some ways really bad i just know as the years progress and hopefully by the time i am an old person that the stigma around tattoos is just completely gone my tattoos have nothing to do with my personality they have nothing to do with my heart my morals who i am as a person it's so sickening to me that that's how the world views it obviously not everybody but a huge majority of humans look at me and immediately have a negative opinion because of my tattoos. I don't know guys, I just wanted to look cool and I wanted to feel confident and I, I do look cool and I do feel confident about them. But why can't we just be normal about it? <laughs> I use the cabinet as a tripod, but I fear I'm a little bit too short for this. Let me go on my toes. You guys will probably think this is sad, but this is kind of just the things you have to do. You're like making content. I'm about to hit 50K on TikTok, which first of all is absolutely insane. You kind of have to plan in advance. When you know you're about to get to a number, you have to like make the video for when you hit the number ahead of time. So it's a little bit sad. <laughs> no, I'm not at 50K. I got a little cake, my 50K cake. I'm gonna write on it with like little decorative icing and make a little, TikTok of that. It's just kind of funny that I'm gonna like celebrate with my family tonight even though I don't have the 50k yet but I have to be ready for when I do have the 50k. I recorded it for TikTok but here's my final result and you would never guess from this writing that I've worked at two bakeries but yeah. I'm like anxiously awaiting dinner time because it smells so good right now. <laughs> I don't mean to tell you this, but you cut a really bad piece <laughs> like this. <laughs> I mean to offend you, but that sucks. You mean to offend you, but it sucks. I told her I wanted that glitter heart, and she <laughs> she cut right in the middle of okay, it. Okay, honestly, I'm struggling a bit. Uh oh, um, it's it's really bad. bad. You put your heels all over it. Relax. I'm clean. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> No, this is good. <laughs> Trust me, you're gonna like it when you see it. I bet. <laughs> you're gonna like it. <laughs>